Thanks, Tommy. Yes, good evening, everybody. Well, we're heading into the home straight in the League of Ireland title race, but the leaders are starting to stagger. The chasing pack are starting to believe an overtaking manoeuvre could be on the cards. Shell Bernard, three points clear at the top, but they haven't won in seven matches. Another loss tonight, and Dreams could really be slipping away for Damien Duffside. A win, though, and Dreams of a first league title in 18 years would still be alive. But Sligo come here with a word of warning because they're one of only two teams to have won here this season. They've also beaten Shelburne in their last two league games. Can they do a hat-trick this evening? Shel from left back, and it drops at the feet of Chapman. Expect a little bit more from him. I think he's half thinking about whipping it to the near post and half thinking about bringing it to the far. Wood, 3-4 of the attack. Here comes Ali Koosh. Well saved by the goalkeeper. Flag and stay down. Yeah, top. yeah, not bad from Fitzgerald, just quite gets hold of it, this is the ball in behind, Ali Q, it's a good save from McGinty, I think Q's got to go with his left foot there. Henry Francis, now Fitzgerald, left foot of ball in towards Pierce, and Pierce will have another shot, and it's straight at the goalkeeper, from inside the Shelburne, six yard box, they did not defend that well. Crucially from a Shelburne point of view, they weren't punished. Two big chances inside a couple of moments, one at either end, and neither of the two chances that were presented could be finished by Pierce at one end or Coote at the other. It's a lovely play here. Once it gets out to Fitzgerald, just one touch out with the feet, whip it into a good area. It hits Paddy Barrett in the midriff. Pierce is alive to it, sees the dropping ball, hits it straight away. Fortunately, from a Shelbourne point of view, it's straight at Cairns in the goal. 20-year-old striker. He's only scored once in the league this season. So we're signing on loan from Cardiff City. Here's Wood for Shelburne. Long way out! And it's gathered by McGinty. We will be thankful the sting was taken out of that a little bit. Again, it was Wood joining the Shelburne attack. Again, might, might not be the prettiest thing on the eye. One long ball. Wilson had pushed on, flexion on the way through, still there for Shelburne, here's Wood, again it's blocked, and again the block was an important one, and again it was Wood joining the Shelburne attack inside the penalty area. And again, Shelburne shown that he do have a bit of attacking threat out there, a bit of it half defend the ball again, Sean Boyd shown what he does, doesn't let any of the defenders get anything easy. Once it comes to Wood at the end of the box, there's Boyd making a nuisance of himself a million miles away. Good ball in there and scrambled away. And there's a big appeal from Paddy Barrett and some of the Shelburne players. I think. Marley, only Francis again. Going towards the final five minutes of the half. It's a lovely idea. Just trying to play that ball around the corner for Pierce. A long way out and it's fired over from power who was just drifting in from that left side. He got plenty behind it, but he was nowhere near scoring his fourth league goal of the season. Yeah, it was a good strike by power, putting in on that right foot. Really gets a hold of it. I love the power process. You can see as soon as the ball comes out of the sky, one touch, two touch to set himself. Coyle, real up and under for. Boyd, he flicks it on to Martin, back to Boyd once again, here comes Wood now, tries to get onto a stronger side, then slides it in, Shelburne could be in behind here, there's a flag up on the far side, but Boyd tried to have an improvised finish at the back post, and there goes the half-time whistle, drama at the end of the first half, Shelburne close once again to taking the lead, brilliant play from Wood once he picks up the second ball, it's a big strike, McGinty I think helps it onto the post. Sean Boyd flying in, can't quite bundle it over the line. There is the late chance. Chances yes, goals no. Other Half results time. this evening. They know the importance of trying to claim all three points here in this title race. Oh, Wilson, that's a little bit short. And Chapman was lurking, it was actually smart goalkeeping in the end from Kearns. And Kearns clears it away once again. Yeah, it was a risky old back pass from Wilson. Got away with it in the end, as you say. Bernard Kearns comes out, does enough. 
Paddy Barrett's on the scene to make sure nothing worse happens. It's well done by the Shelburne goalkeeper. And he had to be sharp off his line here. Coos. Here with the best chance of that opening half for Shelburne. That's a little layoff to O'Sullivan. Decent delivery in towards Boyd! And it's over the bar. Not too far over the bar. Delightful delivery. Really inviting. That's brilliant, intelligent play by Sullivan. He knows exactly where Sean Boyd wants this ball delivered. Doesn't even look up, just hangs it up there to the back stick. That's where big Sean Boyd is. A good, strong header. He credit the Sligo defender with doing enough to put him off. Injury to Ashley Wood. It's gathered for the goalkeeper as it came through. Gimsey called into action. It's a brilliant ball over the top from Varrett. Brilliant way to pass. Wilson runs from deep, gets his head on to it. attack on here, and they've got runners. Three forward in the attack now for Sligo. Needs to be a good ball. And in the end, it was a really good block. But Chapman has it again. Sligo come forward. Here, here comes Chapman at the back post. Slides it in for Hutchinson. Back to Chapman once again. Has an effort. Still there. And eventually it's clawed away by Shelburne. Corner kick to Sliger Overs. You can hear the bills ring out. Shelburne fans think there's a foul in the halfway line. That's brilliantly defended from Mali. That's a silly, silly tackle from Danham. Just bundles over Sean Boyd. And Sliger go up the other end. Chapman does well, plays a little one, two. Griffin. It's back out to. Henry Francis slid back in, but that's way too much of the Sligo Rovers player. Trying to work the angle for the cross, comes in towards that back post, clawed away. Denham must have thought he scored the lead goal, but well, that's a super save by Kearns. It's a brilliant ball in from Fitzgerald. Picks out Denham at the back stick. Big man rises above everybody. Brilliant header. You see here Fitzgerald checks back on his left. Big denim at the back stick. Gets over Paddy Barra. Brilliant header for Cairns. Manages to claw it back from the lion. Big meetings this season. Can they take the lead here as that one is headed across? What an effort that is! And it wasn't too far away just opened up at the edge of the penalty area and again a warning to that Shelburne defence with the latest effort from Fitzgerald it's a great strike from Fitzgerald again it's just a long ball up there Fitzgerald picks up the seconds it's a lovely hit half Very volley like for like change as Burt comes on for Shelburne has been heavily involved this season Another guilt edge opportunity. You just thought it was going to trickle into the corner of the Sligo Rovers net, but it's another chance for Shelburne that they haven't taken. Nice shot, score, Bernard. He's only on the pitch a matter of seconds, Bort. But it's that straight ball up to Sean Boyd again. He just helps it on. Liam Bort reads it. Sligo centre half swings and misses. Wants that opportunity presents itself. He's got a score. What an introduction that would have been for Liam Burt to score within seconds of coming on. You see Boyd's little flick on. Coyle. So He's been out there since the start. Barrett pushing on and on. The central defender. Wilson gets it onto his left side. Barrett launched it high up in there. It's bobbling about as Ledwich. Here's a chance for Burt. Well closed down, Burt there once again, gets a shot away, claims a bad ball, it was a huge claim, and the referee says no. Well, it definitely hits the arm of Denham, I think his arms are down by his side in a natural position. Shelburne send it back in there once again, Smith, and he has committed the foul at the edge of the penalty area, and so it's going to be a free kick out, but Shelburne really feel this should have got a stoppage time penalty a couple of moments ago. Yeah, see, Matty Smith has been booked for his protests. So it pops out here. It's Liam Bort. Definitely hits the arm of Denham. 
As I say, I think his arms are down by his side. Would have been a harsh one, but it does fall into the bracket of seeing them given. The league leaders are about to drop more points. There goes the full time whistle. Shelburne sit top of the League of Ireland Premier Division, but they have dropped more points on this run in. Damien Duffside had got chances, in particular Ali Coots in the first half, but they couldn't take them. Sligo's back to back wins against Shelburne isn't increased to three wins in a row. It has finished at Talker Park. Shelburne nil, Sligo Rovers nil.